All right, what's up, guys? It's Jack and Dan. I got Pamela here helping me film today, though, right? What's up, Pamela? Hi. <laughs> so, Jack went to North Carolina to visit his sister because she's be getting married this year and everything. And uh, Pamela and I are taking off for a little adult spring break adventure. And we thought we would use this opportunity to do this experiment that we talked about a few weeks ago when we did a video on tips on the vault and how to like increase charging and regeneration and things like that. One of the main things we talked about in that video was, if you look down here, is to put the car in low instead of drive. So here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna go one way, exactly the same way that we come back in low I am gonna not use that paddle at all. I'm just gonna use low and the brake. I'm not gonna be using cruise control. Even though it's a fairly long trip, about five and a half hours, I think it's about 400 miles. It's very hilly and there's gonna be a lot of traffic because of spring break and everything. So I don't like using cruise control because you gotta constantly hit your brake and stuff anyway. So I'm just gonna drive all the way there in low and then drive all the way back in drive and we're gonna compare the two. For the most part, it's gonna be close to the same time of day and all that kind of stuff, so it should be pretty accurate without other variables. Now, if, let me just take the camera real quick from you here. I'm gonna kind of show you guys how we're gonna record this. Here's the little thing. Um, you could see when we did this video just a couple weeks, well, it was a few weeks ago now, um, I was just hitting about 50,000. I've already put 700 miles on it since then because we had a lot of running around and doing things to do. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zero this. Um, you could see that the last time we did this was almost 30,000 miles or 3,000 miles ago because we just haven't used it for anything. Now, when it gives you this average right here, 132 miles, that's based on with electric use also. So I'm gonna zero that out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna zero it again when we leave. So it's gonna show us the mileage. And it's gonna show us the miles per gallon. And then when we come back, we're gonna do exactly the same thing. Now I'm also gonna show you guys that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in hold. So I'm not gonna use any electric. There is only half electric. I didn't bother charging before we went to bed last night because I knew I was just gonna be using electric anyway, so I didn't bother. So it's gonna be in hybrid mode basically, and we're zeroing this out. So we're gonna leave, and then we're, we'll probably stop along the way a couple times. We'll show you guys according to this, I'm gonna be able to do 285 miles, that's about Eight, um, eight gallons of gas with one gallon reserve, about nine gallons or something like that. So basically, <laughs> take that back. So basically what we're gonna do is we're leaving the driveway. When we pull into where we're staying, we're gonna check everything out. We're gonna do exactly the same thing in reverse on the way back. We're gonna see how this works out. We're gonna see how much of a difference it makes using low. Now, obviously, if I were to use the, the paddle and everything in conjunction, that simulates using low but I'm not gonna do that because I wanna take all the variables variables away and just do low versus drive. So we're gonna try this out. This is gonna be a lot of fun, guys. You ready, babe? Yes. <laughs> we'll see if there's much of a difference, but there's only one way to find out and that's put it to the test. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, so here we are at the old fast track. We've only been going about an hour or so and uh, Obviously, Pamela had a little bit too much coffee, so she wanted to run in here. Since we stopped, I just topped off in gas. I put uh, two gallons in. Um, not bad at all. Made about 75.5 uh, miles. We're going about 26.6. Now, since I turned everything off and turned it back on, uh, you can see that this actually jumped up. I think it was at 21, and it jumped up to 22, so I actually regenerated... While I was in like hold mode, I actually regenerated one mile, which isn't very much because a lot of it's been highway. But as we continue to go into, you know, more into Pennsylvania and hit more hills and stuff and do more of that, we'll probably regenerate more. So it'll be interesting to see how much this goes up. But uh, yeah, just so you know, I mean, we're going at about 72, no heated seats or anything. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in hold mode. And we're going to keep heading off. All right, got another quick stop here, uh, coming into Pennsylvania, as you can see, very hilly, mountainous area. We're doing some regeneration, a lot of downhills, uphill stuff, still going about 26.2. We're more than halfway to our destination, um, 213 miles, got about another 170 or something to go, maybe less. 
and uh, let's go out here. We're gonna fill up while we're here real quick and show you what's going on. All right, so here we are filling up. Fuel is about the same as it's been, um, about 376, 377, something like that, pretty much even on Easter Sunday, which they usually jack it up on holidays, but they didn't really seem to do that. We did fail to mention we had the bike rack on here, and of course everybody knows Pamela is a fashion diva, so we've got a lot of luggage, a lot of shoes and clothes and things like that, even though this is only like a five, six day trip, um, and the bikes and everything. So there is some extra added weight, obviously that's gonna affect everything. And I'm sure these bikes are affecting the aerodynamic aspect of things, but again, everything's gonna be the same one way than the other way. So for the most part, it's a pretty good controlled experiment. You can see the mountains behind me here, getting into Pennsylvania. It's very hilly. We're doing a lot of up and down, regenerating and things like that. So uh, we're gonna fill up, we're gonna go ahead and then we may make one more stop. We may not, it just depends on Pamela's bladder. Again, I'm a nurse, so I can go like 24 hours without peeing if I have to. Don't recommend it, but just something I've done my whole life. <laughs> not necessarily a good idea, but I'm pretty good on these road trips. Uh, she's not really used to that, so gotta stop a little more. It's just how it is. What's up? Big old Pennsylvania truck behind us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are. We got to the resort and everything. We actually ended up going to dinner because it was only like one mile from the resort. So this is the end number from our house all the way to the restaurant, which again was only about a mile from where we're staying. So we got 402.7 miles. 25.6 miles per gallon in low all the way here. Lots of hills, stuff like that. So anyway, that's where we're at. We'll see what happens. Let me come out and just show you guys this place, how cool this was. Look at how dressed up Pamela is for Easter dinner, huh? Hi. Isn't this place something? Here, let me close this so it stops beeping. We ate, uh, came all the way out here. Pennsylvania, look at this. They do weddings here and everything. This big old barn and down here by the lake. Beautiful. We just ate at this restaurant, faces over the lake, and they had uh, totally amazing uh, tofu stir. Oh, yeah, we're doing a spin. There you go. Got the Easter get gets on there, huh? Pretty woman. Fancy pantsy. Yeah. The good tofu stir fry and everything. It was, it was beautiful. It was totally Very awesome. It was to I even wore my pink shirt. Here, show my shirt here. You take, I got my Easter <laughs> pink shirt on. Jack loves this shirt. Yeah. You look so handsome. Happy Easter. You guys happy probably ain't seen us for a week or two after Easter, but happy Easter, there guys. So anyway, that's the results. We're going to be here about a week or so, and uh, we will do an update. Um, we will do a little video before we leave and on the way back, and then we'll see the difference it makes in drive. See if we can get better, uh, better, better than 20, what was it, 25.6. We'll see, if we can, we'll see if it makes a difference, if it's better or worse or the same. See you guys then. All right, what's up, guys? So we had a totally awesome week here, didn't we, Pamela? Yes. Super fun, super beautiful time. We're going to have a series of video coming up of a few of the things we did for sure. But we wanted to do an update before we left here. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday. We're leaving. Um, so right before we left, we were like 25.6 or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Um, we went just a, a little bit over 400 miles. Now, obviously, we've been doing a lot more. I'm going to take this and show you guys real close here. We did a lot more um, city driving around here. And then, obviously, I used the electric that I had left that I never used. So we went up to 27.3 and did a couple hundred miles while we were here. So you can see how that average changed just by doing more you know, uh, city driving and stopping and going instead of the highway. But here's what we're gonna do. Instead of using the low gear now on the way home, go ahead and show this down here, babes. We're gonna put it on drive, okay? So we're gonna be exclusively using drive. And I am, again, not really gonna try, to, I'm gonna try to not really use the paddle, the paddle here. I'm just gonna use the brake and drive. And when we get home around 400 miles then, we're gonna kinda see how this is, again, this is mostly highway driving and you can see the change just in being here for a couple hundred miles, how much that changes. But again, we went, we're going both ways, no electric, no paddle, just drive versus low. It is mostly highway, but there's a lot of hills and we are doing some stopping and going because of the traffic, because of spring break and everything like that. 
We're leaving around the same time of day. We have about the same weather and about the same traffic and everything. So we'll see how this experiment goes. We'll stop a couple times along the way and see what we're averaging. I am gonna zero this out right now. I'll show you guys that. Just gonna zero this out. There you go. So we're gonna leave. That's actually our resort right across the street. We just pulled over here for a second and uh, we will compare, see what happens here. See you guys in a minute. Okay guys, quick stop to get gas and you know bathroom stop and all that. We're about the halfway point and it's looking as though we are very close to getting the same mileage that we got on the way here. You know, for the most part, everything's been the same. Uh, traffic, uh, weather, all those kind of things. The only thing that I am noticing, and this is something that I kind of noticed on the way there, is a lot of these hills, even though they seem incredibly steep, when I was in low on the way to our destination, I noticed that I had to almost accelerate. It would slow me down like too much. That I had to accelerate even going down some pretty big hills. Therefore, of course, using, you know, energy and gas. Um, whereas without using low, I, I'm really kind of drifting down those hills without having to accelerate because it's not holding it back. So you're not getting as much regeneration, but you're also not using energy to go down the hill. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of weird. And that's a phenomenon that I didn't really think would happen until actually experiencing it. Again, a lot of this is highway driving, but <clears throat> it's it's congested. There, there's quite a bit of traffic. There's a lot of trucks. You can't really use cruise control, which is why I haven't this whole time. You're kind of going from, you know, changing lanes, passing semis, passing trucks. Um, not a ton of spring break traffic because, again, this is after Easter, but still a lot of, uh, you know, tr tractor trailers, those kind of things. So it's about the same both ways, but I am kind of seeing, again, you're not really able to regenerate because the hills aren't really enough. So that's something that I didn't really count on. So at this point in time, halfway home, it looks like we're doing about the same, 25.9. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, we'll check in when we get home and we'll see if this made a difference at all. All right, guys, so we made it all home in one piece and everything. And here's the end results. I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. Okay, so a couple things to go over. Number one, when we got there to Pennsylvania, we had 402.7 miles. Our average was 25.6. Now you can see our mileage here is a little bit more, and here's why. We basically had to pass right by the house and go pick up George Costanza, and we had to get gas, because I took it to dead empty, guys. Look at this receipt from the gas station. <laughs> I took it to, uh, wait, where is it? Look at the gallons, 8.95 gallons. So this is a eight gallon tank with a one gallon reserve. I literally pushed it to 0 0.05 gallons, dude. This thing was almost completely empty, but uh, I, I kind of figured it out that way. So it worked out pretty good. My calculations were pretty close. So at the end of the day, um, I had to go get gas and uh, go get George. So when, however, we went right by our street, this said 24.7. So 25.6 minus 24.7 before we had to go get George and go get gas was right about exactly the same miles, was right about 403. And so a difference of about 0.9 only. So again, about 400 miles almost exactly there, 400 miles almost exactly back, zeroed everything out. Did low gear all the way there, no paddle, just use brakes, and drive all the way back, no paddle, just use brakes. With only a difference of just under one mile per gallon. Now, a lot of people say, hey, a mile per gallon is a mile per gallon. I agree with that 100%. If you could save, you could save. Uh, however, I am going to put into that that there was a lot more coasting coming down those hills without using low gear. That got rid of that one foot driving we talked about, and I really had to brake a lot on some of those hills, partly due to the trucks and the traffic, 
Um, I probably would have let it ride if there was no one around, but it could also run into some danger. Now it was very dry and it was nice, but to take some of those turns and curves and hills through those mountains, you gotta kind of slow yourself down a little bit. So from a safety standpoint and everything else involved, I really use my brakes a lot more in drive. So you have to ask yourself the question at the end of the results here, is it worth utilizing your brakes for 400, well, it would have been 800 miles, 400 there, 400 back, 800 miles, all that much. Whereas when I was in low gear, I hardly ever had to. And we only gained 0.9 miles per gallon in the process. So, um, you know, for me, you've got a double benefit there. You've got 0.9 miles per gallon that you're benefiting. You're way using your brakes way less. So it's win-win in my opinion. I did kind of hope for a little bit more of a difference, and I certainly think with city driving, there will be more. I actually called Jack. He's headed home from seeing his sister in North Carolina, and I kind of went over some of this with him. I was talking to him in the car because I already kind of knew the results before I even stopped here, and uh, one of the things that he pointed out, he said, we totally need to try this in the city. So he made the suggestion. Jack's very much into this. He's very much into electricity, renewable energy, He's only a freshman in high school now, but he's thinking of, you know, going into electricity and, you know, renewable energy, like as a profession, which could change. I mean, he's a freshman, could change a hundred times by the time he graduates, like a lot of us did when we were kids, but he's very interested in it. Uh, what he wants to do is he wants to try a separate experiment where we do only city driving. He said, we should do like a Monday to Sunday in low gear the whole week, like a regular week, and then kind of a regular week the following week in drive and do all city driving, because obviously the miles per gallon is gonna be much higher, um, but to just to see how it affects things in the city more. I am impressed with almost a mile per gallon difference though, and also really not having to use the brakes hardly at all. So even if I take a trip on the highway again, or a far trip like this, I will definitely stick to low. I hope this helps to help people decide whether or not this really makes a difference for them. Uh, I feel like it does. I feel like it was beneficial and it was cool. It doesn't really have any negative impact by using it. So you're gaining a mile per gallon. Stay tuned because Jack and I will probably do this whole thing in the city uh, probably before he gets out of school because my driving is very stable when he's in school. So before he gets out of school here in, in uh, about another month and a half, maybe two months here, we are gonna try to do this experiment where we do it in the city. A week of low, a week of drive, where everything's pretty much consistently the same, and then we'll, we'll you know, take it against each other. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps people to make this decision. I, I definitely think it's significant, for sure. And uh, stick around. We're gonna be doing more fun stuff like this, along with all the other crazy stuff we do on this channel and fun stuff. Thanks for watching again. See you next time, guys.